Good news! If you owned one of these types of MacBooks between 2015 and 2019, well, you might be due a couple hundred dollars from a settlement that Apple has made thanks to a lawsuit that alleges that these keyboards suck. You heard me correctly. If you owned a 2015 to 2017 12-inch MacBook, a 2018 or 2019 MacBook Air, or the 2016 to 2019 13 or 15 inch MacBook Pro, well, you might be getting some money from this lawsuit. And I for one think that that is very much justified. So I pulled out all of my remaining butterfly keyboard MacBooks, and today we're gonna discuss why these things were so bad and what happens next if you had one of these machines or you wanna be a part of this settlement. And I know what you're thinking. I'm missing a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Well, I'm actually not. It's right over here, but this thing is so bad. This laptop, it doesn't even, it doesn't even turn on. Like half the time, plugged it in for a day while I was planning to make this video and it's just, it's nothing. So I think I'm gonna have to punish this MacBook. Uh, close your eyes, this, this might get ugly. Ugh. This MacBook got what it deserved. This, this is a fitting end to such a terrible, terrible machine. Okay, before you go get upset and put an angry comment, this is just a goof. A subscriber sent me this laptop. I don't really know what to do with it. The, uh, the actual one is fine. I didn't, I didn't destroy it, so don't worry. Today's video is sponsored by Notion AI, the artificial intelligence feature designed to help you be more productive. Do you need help managing your daily tasks? Notion AI is here to help. Their revolutionary AI assistant helps you keep track of your calendar, to-do list, emails, and more. Get organized with Notion AI and make your life easier. It can get you started with an outline for an essay, a draft of a blog post, or it can even write the intro to your YouTube integration about Notion AI. Notion AI can find and fix spelling and grammar mistakes, lengthen or shorten paragraphs, explain technical jargon, and more. Just press space and have Notion AI help with the details. You can get started with Notion for free and unlock the power of Notion AI for only $10 a month. In just the short amount of time that I've been given access to Notion AI, I am honestly blown away at how competent it is. That B-roll that I showed you earlier where I had Notion rewrite a paragraph about the beginning of Apple's history and, and make it shorter, that was like insane to me. It's, it's perfect. I've already started to use it to help me come up with ideas and write scripts and outlines for future videos. This thing is like nuts. Definitely check out the link in the description below to get started with Notion AI today. And now let's get back to the video. So here we have a collection of rather unfortunate MacBooks. And you know, at this point, it's easy to look back on the butterfly keyboard because the world of tech has moved on, but I think it's also worth noting that there are a lot of people now that are stuck with these machines because not everyone is going to be making a new MacBook purchase every two years. I mean, this 2019 15-inch MacBook Pro is basically fully loaded and it was $4,000 just three and a half years ago. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't think most people are trying to drop four grand every three years. And that's why I'm really glad that finally we'll be able to get a, just, just a tiny bit of our pain and suffering recuperated thanks to this lawsuit. Now, as you might have imagined, me being in the position that I am in doing what I do on YouTube, uh, yeah, so I, I submitted five claims. I had five different MacBooks that experienced the butterfly keyboard failure. So let me, uh, let me take you guys on a quick walk down memory lane of my negative experiences with these keyboards. So to start things off, all the way back in December of 2017 is when I had my first butterfly keyboard failure. At the time, I only had like a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. I was just getting started, but that was my MacBook that I was editing videos on and doing all of my college classes. 
and I had this persistent issue where the space bar was just getting stuck. So I took it to the Apple store. They really didn't know what they were looking at. Again, this was before the whole butterfly keyboard meltdown became public knowledge and they replaced the top case. So that was my first experience. My second experience was a couple months later in the first half of 2018. If you're a true OG of the channel, you might remember the video that I did buying the cheapest 12 inch Retina MacBook. That was probably one of the most pivotal videos that I ever posted. It was the first time I got almost 100,000 views within like a week, but that MacBook did have some issues. The display coating was wearing off, so I got them to replace the display at the Apple store and the keyboard was sticking on that one as well. My 2016 MacBook, that started acting up again. So I had two more replacements done until in the summer of 2019 with my fourth butterfly keyboard failure, Apple actually replaced the entire laptop with this. I made a video on it back over the summer of 2019, but that was the first time that I was like, holy moly, this is so bad that they will give you a new $4,000 laptop, which was worth well above the even original purchase price for my 2016, just to try to fix that issue. But apart from those MacBooks, I actually ended up with three other 15 inch MacBook Pros, two of which were 2016, one of which was a 2018. They all had sticking keyboards. They all had top case replacements. The 2018 actually also ended up getting a CRU, a customer replacement unit, because they broke the logic board when they were doing the repair, completely killed the machine, and ended up having to give me a brand new one. So yeah, I've had two free MacBooks and five total MacBook replacements, seven top cases because of these butterfly keyboards. That's uh, not good. And so, what the hell? This, look at this, this computer is like, hello? Literally in the middle of filming, something is, something's going on with my $4,000 2019, the screen just, it, okay, well, we're good now. So let's talk about this lawsuit, shall we? Because you're probably itching to find out the details. How can you get paid for your miserable experience with these butterfly keyboards? Well, if you do have a MacBook that's in the system with a somewhat recent keyboard replacement, usually for 2018, 19, or 2020, you probably got an email. But if you didn't, don't worry. Go through your email, find the work authorization that shows your MacBook having the top case replaced, and you can go to the website, I will link it down below, and submit a claim with all of your details. Put in where it was done, who repaired it, and the date of the repair, and hopefully, you will be able to get some cash as well. There are three main groups that are a part of this lawsuit. Group three is the lowest tier. That is people who had a sticking key and Apple solved the problem by giving you a new key cap. That was one repair that they did for a little while and if you had that done, you could get 50 bucks. But if you had an actual top case replacement, they sent it off, gave you a completely new top assembly with the battery keyboard and everything, well, that's gonna bump you up to group two, which means that you could be eligible for over a hundred dollars. <throat> but if you're like me, and you have a MacBook that went in multiple times, at least two, in my case it ended up being four, but you only need two, you can get either 300 or as much as $395. So yeah, I hope you guys kept those Apple Store work authorizations, whether you got it from an Apple Store directly or an authorized service provider. Both are totally acceptable as long as you put in information and definitely take that file, print it from your email, and attach it on the form you submit. That's what I would recommend. And honestly, this, this is a really big deal because we are talking about millions and millions of these MacBooks over the years. Now, obviously, there is not as great a number of these that will have gone through multiple rounds of keyboard replacements. That's why that top tier group one can receive almost $400. If you remember back to when Apple had the iPhone battery gate lawsuit, 
that ended up settling somewhere around 40 bucks. So if you had one of those phones, it's a huge group of people and you could submit and get a check for $40. But these, well, this is a lot more lucrative because with my five MacBooks, I think I'll probably end up getting around $800 because of all of these top case replacements. So like, yeah. Now, obviously, if you have one of these higher end 15 inch MacBook Pros and you know, those things were like three, $4,000 pretty easily, Honestly, getting $100, $200, dollars is isn't really that much of a game changer, but it does at least help somewhat with the increased depreciation that these models have seen. I mean, you look at a 2019 15-inch MacBook like this, this was $4,000 in 2019. You look at these things now, they're like a grand. They have depreciated much faster than all other MacBooks in the last 15 years, the entire existence of the MacBook brand because of this butterfly keyboard. But hey, you know what? At least we get a little bit of cash for our great deal of cost and inconvenience and pain and suffering. Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad. Honestly, let me know if you think the whole butterfly keyboard thing was overblown. I know there are some people out there that still use them, still like them, but I am also curious to know if you will be applying for this settlement after watching this video. Let me know in the comments below. I'm super curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. As usual, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.